What is going on guys? Welcome to another Two Minute Tuesday. This Two Minute Tuesday is going to be dedicated to this topic of cardio and getting fit for a game. So without further ado, let's put the time on the screen and let's get started. So whenever I'm doing my own cardio routine, I make sure that I'm doing two things. The first thing is a combination between middle distance, short distance, and long distance cardio with different types of rest, focusing on different types of fitness. And the other is making sure that I'm working and challenging and making each workout harder and harder and harder, a progression. I see so many players that want to get fit for the games, but yet they go out and all they do is just run miles and miles and miles at a steady pace, not increasing anything. That's good. It's a good form of cardio, but how often in a game are you just jogging at a constant speed for 30 minutes? Soccer is such a mix of sprinting and walking and then sprinting again, then jogging for a little bit, then another longer sprint, then a shorter sprint and a change of direction. So whenever I'm doing that, I make sure that my cardio reflects that. I always try to break it into three different factors. I do my short term, you know, change of directions, cuts, 10 yard sprints, bursts, accelerations. Then I also do middle distance, which is like 40 yard dashes, maybe 30 yards there and back, there and back, 100 yard sprints, stuff like that. And then I have my longer distance runs, like my a full lap around a track, a 400 meter run, 800 meter runs, mile runs, and even up to two miles sometimes. So that's the first mistake that so many players make is they just focus on this long distance cardio when there's so many different types of cardio that you need for a game. And the second problem is that there's no progression. They'll go out and do a workout, they'll run three miles, they'll take a few days off and they'll go run a mile, then a couple days later they'll go run two miles, but there's no progression, there's no timing, they're not trying to improve anything, they're just going out and getting tired and then calling it a day. Professionals, people that really want to improve their match fitness for the game, are actively tracking it and trying to make each workout harder or more intense. For example, if I'm trying to get ready for a big trial or a preseason coming up, I focus in on three or four good cardio workouts and every single week I'm working at cutting down the rest time by 10 seconds each time, increasing the number of sets that I'm doing, or decreasing the time that I'm doing it in. So that's the video. These are the two main reasons why I think players are not really getting match fit. If you're liking these videos, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. How'd I do on time? Oh!